What's up guys? So today I just got to the shop going to mount or got some tires mounted on the car last night. All right, I'm going to start this thing and roll it outside and see how this paint looks in the sun. And I'm excited. But yeah, put some new candles on it last night. Thanks, boy. So today we're going to get the cluster wires done. I have all the signal wires ran. Uh, just going to plug away at this, see if we can get it all dialed in. I'm going to get this cluster um, wired up. This is factory 36 cluster. Uh, I am only using it for the tack, speedo, fuel, and coolant. Uh, I also have the check engine light wired in. Um, that's all I'm going to use it for. I already deep pinned these. Uh, X17 and X16 connectors down to what I need them for. This is super easy to do. Essentially, all you gotta do is pop this little clip out. There's one came out. And that just slides out like that. If you have all data or a pinout diagram, it shows you everything you need on these. So I'm gonna reopen those diagrams that I have on my phone and figure out exactly what I need to power this and send signal. I know this black wire is for the tack, so get that all sorted and we'll go from here. See what we can get today. Alrighty. So here I have all the cluster pinouts. If it focuses, it's probably not gonna focus. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go through and sort all these wires out. This is the white is the X16 connector and blue is X17. Um Alright, we'll walk through this. So I have my diagrams up on my phone here. Uh, like I say, I already deep in these. These are super easy. You can just push them out. Everything's labeled with the numbers and what they do. Damn it, Andrew. So, I guess we'll start at this wire. Now here, we'll start at the bottom. This will make it way easier. So, pin number 16 is a check engine indicator. Gonna keep that. Um, pin number 20 is tack. So this goes right to the X20 connector. There's a pin out for that. So, so far I have these two. 22 is, oh, that's fuel pump signal. So I forgot I, I kept the fuel gauge. Um, that'll work. 23. So this is a power. Uh, 
figured out so that I can uh, run everything into one and run off the gauge power. And then last but not least, 24, this is the ground. So this grounds all the electronics in the cluster. Now we'll start at one. One is the high beam indicator control. Not using that. Two is instrument power. So I'm gonna run that on that uh, same stripped wire for cluster light power. Three is right and four is left turn signal indicators. So I'm gonna keep these off to the side for now. All right, we're moving on to the X17 connector. That is this one here. So once again, I already thinned this out quite a bit for what I need. Get this cover popped off here. So yeah, another one of the same. They're, I mean, identical connectors. One's blue, one's white. If you look at the pinout, it'll tell you like what, uh, what wire counts do what, and that's how I figured out what connector is which. Oh. So this one will start at, let's go from one here. So one is unused, that's for hazard flasher relay, not using that. Two is uh, the vehicle speed signal. So I have the um, harness running up from the rear of the car for that. I will use this. Um, this is a ground, so number three is ground. More uh, power, so I'll keep that off to the side for power. Five is uh, power from the ignition switch to turn this on, turns on the cluster. Six is ground. This is the alternator ground signal. Number 10, fuel tank level again. So 16 is voltage supply again, so that go to power. 17 is coolant temp and coolant temp. So these both go to the X20. Um, 24 is the dimmer signal. 26 is the central indicator lamp. Put this one back together. All right, so over to the car. Um, the few wires that I need are all right here. Uh, I'm gonna cut this down. This is the gauge power wire. So this will come on with key on. Don't need that section. Yeet. I'm going to strip everything. So this I'll just run master teed into all the other power wires. Should be easy enough. This is um, speed sensor signal, which was already good. And this is speed sensor ground, which I believe run off the small connector. Fuel gauge, uh, signal. It is grounded in the back of the car. I have it back over there behind by the relay. So those are all there. So the other wires are on the X20 connector underneath. So I'll have to pull that up and extend those out. So I have the X20 right here. So these are the only wires I actually need from this. This, uh, this is tax signal. So I'll hook that, obviously that goes to the black. All right. Got all the terminals on the X20 stripped down. I'm gonna put, put a piece of shrink tube over this to make it like cleaner. All right, that's a little better. Easier to keep them all together. All righty, so I got my X20 pin out thing. I think I'm gonna build all the power harnesses into one. Everything on the cluster will run off this one wire, which should be fine. Doesn't draw much. Alrighty, so we started on the wiring for this. Um, I don't have any like super fancy wiring and I'm using some like 14 gauge stuff that I just have. But this is a uh, brown 
with yellow tracer, so I used yellow, purple with or brown with purple tracer, use purple, kind of works. I uh, should be able to have this memorized later on. So you just essentially push down on that tab and pull it through. That's it, deep pin, they just snap back in if you ever want to reuse them. I save a few of these in case there's inputs I want to add later on. But that is done. Um, so now, that's it. That's all I needed for that side of the cluster. Just forgot to pull that one through. Now we can flip to the other side here. We're down to number six, which is, I'm very bad at doing this right now because I'm learning as I go here. So this is number six ground. Um, number four, five is not used, four is cluster electronics. At least number two is vehicle speed. Yeah, you moving. All right, so got all the wiring finished up. Um, my memory card was full, so I wasn't able to record the rest of it. Essentially, you just find all the powers and grounds and kind of like start plugging things together. It does work. Um, Speedo is not working currently, but it's on key on. Right there, tack works and everything. Uh, ARC panels in. All I gotta do is, this is for the wideband, so I'll get that up and out of the way. But you can't see any wiring, like, from over here. So, I'm super happy about that. It's very, very tucked. Can't hardly even see it back there. But, yeah, I gotta get the cluster bolted in actually and then uh, next is the AEM gauges but I'm super happy with how this turned out things looking pretty rad uh, my click tuning wing came in roof wing so that should be kind of gangster the fit ups okay on it I ordered it three months ago though and just got here which is annoying but that's all I'm running for aero on this thing and then the sunroof delete this came in yesterday with it. But yeah, I'm hyped. Got a bunch of project progress made this weekend, and that's about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, we'll see you next time.